This is a 12 to 24 volt infrared PIR motion sensor. Pretty good little unit. Uh, I've gotten 15 to 20 foot range on this. You have plus and minus voltage input and plus and minus out. This is basically a switch. People use them for switching LED lights and what have you. Pretty brickish, not very attractive. And I wanted to take this thing apart so I could install it in a clock and it would be a little more visually appealing. So this is how I took mine apart and got it to work in my clock. You may find this handy for a project you're working on. Remove two screws and take the back off. You can take this board out of here. And this plastic dome, it has two legs in here and they've melted those over to hold that in place. You take a screwdriver and you can fleck those bits of plastic off of there. And then you can remove the dome. And this sensor is being held away from the board by this piece of plastic tube. And this is a four wire sensor. You need a solder sucker to come in here and unsolder these four pins, which can be done. And I have attached these four pieces of telephone wire and they're, this is about uh, eight and a half inches long. This is an experiment just to see how the sensor would work when I removed it from the board. Also, this sensor has a little pin sticking out here that gives orientation to that. You want to make a mark on your board so when you put these wires on here, this is attached in the right orientation on these four pins. And this sensor, I may have to grind that pin off of there, but that sensor will go in here like that. For the dome, the actual base will have a stem on it that goes through a half inch hole and then there's a glue ring that goes around that and you push that on there tight and sandwich this in that piece of quarter inch plywood put a little glue around that and that'll stay in place the domed lens for the 12 volt PIR is mounted in here And that glue ring is glued in there. That sandwiches this piece of plywood between those two pieces. And eight and a half inches of wire was just about the right length. This was about the only place I had left to install something. And I made a base to go under the board. This is the board for the PIR. And you'll notice these two holes are not exactly symmetric. And that's because the board's not symmetric. So that goes that way, not that way.